Okay, this one is on setting the pressures and uh, I'll probably get into the uh, torch tips and a few things like that. Uh, it's very important how you set these things. And uh, earlier I've talked about you know the high pressure and the oxidizing problem with uh, oxygen if there's any carbon present. Uh, and that the acetylene can't be over 30 pounds. In fact, if you look on the gauge, let's see if we can get up to that gauge there. Oh, you can see anything over 15 pounds is in the red, and of course it tops out at 30. So uh, we need to uh, consider what pressures we're going to put on this. And they're going to be below 15, definitely below 15. Okay, first we're going to talk about adjusting the regulator uh, before we get started. The, the regulator, if you turn it clockwise, that increases pressure. That's a little backwards for most valves, but that's the way a regulator works. When I start, it should be loose like this. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and turn on my gas. Now this is acetylene. This one's only running, well, <laughs> uh, boy, I definitely need to change some gauges. Uh, <laughs> I'm running about 235. Uh, okay, 235 pounds of pressure, and of course I'm zeroed here because there's nothing coming out. Now, when I go to adjust this, I'm probably going to adjust this thing to about 5 PSI down here. Uh, and the way I adjust that, now I've got the torch here, and I've got, if you look on this thing, you can see it says oxy and gas. Gas is a fuel gas, because you don't have to use acetylene, although you're nuts if you don't. Okay, if I'm going to set this regulator, I want the gas open, okay? because I want to set the pressure while there's actually gas coming out. So, I've got that open. Now let's take a look a little closer at the gauge. Okay, as I start turning this down, it's going to have a little more resistance. And you can see that the pressure is starting to go up. Now I'm going to set this thing to about five pounds. Now if I shut it off, and I am shutting it off, you can see it goes up a pound or two. That's why I wanted to do it running. <laughs> Definitely need to change some gauge. Uh, anyway. Now my uh, acetylene regulator is set. Now remember, when I'm setting this regulator, uh, I'm not going to get up to 15 pounds. Keep that sucker way down here someplace. If you've got a pretty good sized tip, you're going to have to go up a little bit higher on that. But, uh, but don't get above 15 pounds. Okay, now I'm at the oxygen. Now again this is loose before I start I open my gauge goes up I got about 700 pounds in there and the one I'm really looking at is this one here and again as I did before and I'll put this thing up here I'm gonna to go to oxy and I'm gonna open it okay now I start cranking this thing down and it'll start coming up. And I'm going to run this at about 10. Okay, think of the two numbers 10 and 5. Always my oxygen should be at a higher pressure than my acetylene. I may want to run that thing up to 12 or 13, something like that, 
but for uh, torch work, uh, brazing and the like, you usually don't need it much higher than that. Okay, this thing is ready to go now. Okay, one of the things I'm going to do right now is show you what's wrong with my torch set. I'm telling you all the terrible things about my torch. Uh, there should be check valves here. All new ones have check valves. One of the reasons I make sure my oxygen is always higher than my acetylene is so that I could not get into a situation where oxygen could actually go, or acetylene could actually go back into the oxygen line. Then it could burn inside the line. Uh, I've done this for so many years. Uh, maybe I'm just uh, set my ways or whatever, I don't know, but uh, I never have got a set for these things. Uh, by the way, just while we're here, notice that the acetylene gas has a mark around the fitting. This one does not on oxygen. That's because this is left-hand thread. They don't want you mixing these things up, because here again, if I'd running acetylene, which is just full of carbon, through an oxygen line, it could explode. So these cannot be mixed up. And that's a regulator setup. Uh, next, we're going to get into the torch tips and how to set the flame on the oxyacetylene rig.